Welcome to Pinoy Crossover. The basketball show for the Filipino community. PJ here. We got Mike and Mark with a scarf. JR, the gang is back. Gang, gang. Gang, 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 gang. gang. JR, from his podcasting. What's up, What's up from your internship? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm done my internship at Sportsnet 59 The Fan. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm almost graduating school. I, think Whoa, I said that a few, a few episodes ago, but I haven't told you yet. Um, Oh, yeah, I did a podcast. So if you follow me on Twitter, I have a separate podcast, not just talking about basketball. I would like to talk about other sports. And he's, hopefully, um, he's we well-rounded. Get yeah, got to be well-rounded. <laughs> well-rounded gentleman. Uh, I just came back from the Philippines. How's your trip? It was okay. You a little tired? Well, I wasn't in the city, so mostly the province. So I haven't been... You know, well, I haven't been balling or haven't been keeping up that much, but... Ball on Sunday? Ball, ball's life. <laughs> yeah, we played play ball on Sunday. But hey, the gang's back. Let's get back to it. Um, let's start it off with the, the showdown. Let's throw it off the game floor where JR and your boy PJ will get down to business. So let's throw it down to the game floor. Welcome to Pinoy Crossover Showdown. It's your boy Mark and Mark, the host for this night and these guys are gonna go pound for pound pound for pound Woo! i weigh more than you how much do you weigh uh i don't care i'm bigger i don't, don't want to say <laughs> i don't want to <laughs> say oh true 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 we got on the was it right my left corner we got pj oh. Woo! and on the <laughs> left corner right corner i mean we got jr what's up coming guys? at you what's your what, what's your what's your go-to right. punch move what's yours this are one you, uh, What's your go-to, uh... <laughs> oh. The scratch. Like, you get to decide yeah, I mean, you who's got it better, right? Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go straight up to ask the question. <laughs> now, you guys are the fans. You guys get to decide who had a better answer. First question is, who's been more fun to watch... Uh, who's been more fun to watch play basketball? Kyrie or Steph Curry? Ooh. In three, two, one. Curry. Curry. Oh, Kari oh, Kari. Is it Kyrie or oh, Kyrie? Oh, yeah, my, my bad. <laughs> Kyrie! I said Kyrie. I, I was supposed to oh, say you Kyrie. Said, you said Kyrie? I'm getting Kyrie. Uh, so I said Kyrie too. Okay, let's go. Why Kyrie in Boston and why Kyrie in Cleveland? Whoa. Whoa. Who's more fun to watch? Oh, in Kyrie, Boston? Boston and yeah, okay, Kyrie okay. in Cleveland. Oh, Depending. my goodness. Yeah, okay, I'll take Cleveland. Yeah. Okay, okay I'll take Boston. Boston. Go. Okay, well, okay. Bo- uh, in Cleveland, he made the game winning shot. He was able to oh, ISO true. ball, get that. You know, when it, once they switched off to Stephen Curry, he was able to, you know, dribble, move. It, just, it was it was just amazing, amazing to watch, yeah. watch him play. I guess what uh, started to make, make him look fun to watch was when he played in the Rising Stars Challenge, and it was that rookie sophomore year, and when he dropped Brandon Knight on the mm. floor. Where's that guy now? Who I knows? Believe. <laughs> no one to see. Exactly. <laughs> so Kyrie has made a name for himself since then. Not really since then, but it, it, it's a start from there that he became yeah. a fun player to watch, being that ISO ball player with that fancy dribble moves. And now he has a persona, Uncle Drew. Uncle Drew now has that dribble moves as well that he's doing in the ballpark. And, you know, it's really fun to watch to see Kyrie Irving as a ball player. Mm. In Boston. Boston. In Boston, Oof. Kyrie in Boston is more fun to watch because in your mind you're always thinking this guy made the bad decision. So you have this kind of thing, you have, you're sizing up saying, did he make a good decision? It's that tension that's in your head, but also that mask. That when he had that good run with the mask, there's a bunch of social media posts, Instagram posts, he played his with the mask on, he still played well, made shots with, sometimes the mask would slip off, still makes some shots, no luck. He just became a better player. Like, you would not think that he would play, um, he just turned into a different version of Kyrie, being by himself without LeBron, and being that, you know, not only Uncle Drew, but like that Kuya Drew. Cause, <laughs> cause, cause people looked up to Kuya Kyrie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Because he was a veteran, all these youngins looking up to him. So he had to be better in terms of leadership and in terms of like being the man. So 
Oh, okay. Well, can well, like, can I add to that? Okay, the mask. Yeah. I think I think when when he started when he got drafted to Cleveland, when his jersey gets popped out, that's when you see Kyrie Irving go off. Man. That's a, okay. That's it. <laughs> Quick Kyrie, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just got me. Yeah. It is true. You're seeing the better version of, of yeah. Kyrie at Boston in yeah. terms of leadership and not just statistics, but you've seen a lot of jaw-dropping moves yeah, from yeah. Kyrie when he was at, at Cleveland. Yeah. So you guys, you fans, get to decide who had the better oh, sure. answer. That's was a one it question PJ, thing. Kuya Kyrie, or...? <laughs> Oh, you have no tagline, sorry. Oh, man, that, that was perfect, though. <laughs> I love it. Well, that's all we have yeah, yeah. for our crossover showdown. I hope you guys enjoy that. <laughs>